Jessica Pagula versus Igish Fiontech is the final of the Qatar Open for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to the final stage. Pagula entered the tournament as the number two seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on Ostapenko, who had had a very good solid start to the season, making a quarterfinal of the Australian Open. And after being down 5-2 in the final set and saving multiple match points, Pagula came back from the brink, winning in three, 6-2, 2-6, 7-5 to get a very impressive win. In the quarterfinals, she would take on Haddad Meyer, who had taken out the number six seed, Kazakina. But this was no problem for Pagula, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In the semifinals, she would take on the number five seed, Zachary. And after a little lapse in concentration in the second set, she would eventually get through in three, 6-2, 4-6, 6-1 to advance to the final. Fiontech entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she would take on Danielle Collins, in a matchup that was so hyped due to the fact that Collins had beaten Sviantec in their previous meeting. But Sviantec turned it up, winning in less than an hour, 6-love, six 6-1. Six in the quarterfinals, Sviantec was due to play the number 7 seed Bencic, who had been on such a run, winning Abu Dhabi the week before and getting through Azarenka in the second round. Unfortunately, Bencic decided to withdraw due to fatigue, giving Sviantec the easy win. In the semifinals, Sviantec would take on the number 8 seed Kudamatova, who had beaten Krajikova and Goff to get to this stage. And again, Sviantec just turned it up, winning in less than an hour again, 6-love, six 6-1. Six to advance to another Doha final as the defending champ. They still playing six times before, with Fiontech leading the head-to-head 4-2, including winning all of their matches that they played last season. But Pagula did get the straight sets win at the start of the year and in the United Cup, representing America against Poland, and it was a straight sets beatdown, which we'd never seen before from Pagula against Fiontech. If Pagula's gonna win this one, she's gonna have to play well in this wind. It's been very windy the last couple of days, and she has been very smart when playing in the wind. It's gonna be very windy in the final tomorrow, according to the forecast, so she's gonna have to slice the ball, come to the net, and really put in the variety against Fiontech. If Fiontech's gonna win, she just needs to do what she's been doing. She absolutely destroyed Kudamatova, and it was super windy. It felt like it wasn't even windy on that day, but she's gonna have to do exactly that again against Pagula, and I guess she has the confidence of knowing that she's beaten Pagula badly in matches before, this is going to be a very fun match, and I wonder if the elements are going to play a part, if it's going to be windy, if that's going to make a difference, but I'm going to go with Sviantec in straight sets. I think it's going to be closer than Sviantec's other straight sets matches this week, but I feel like Sviantec right now, the way she's playing, is just like she was during that February to June streak that she had last year, where she just kicked everyone's butt. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this final.